Yes. Hey guys, my name is Gianluca with OffroadTents.com. So I'm here at the Sherpa Equipment Co. Uh, booth at the Overland Expo West 2022. Uh, so I'm gonna show you a little bit about the Sherpa roof racks, why, why they're such a great roof rack system for you to choose. And yeah, just a bit of the differences between them and other roof racks and what you know stands them apart from any other rack system. Um, so first of all, some background. So Sherpa Equipment Co. It's a Colorado-based company. Uh, they make their roof racks here in the United States. And um, you know, the main, main difference is the side plates of the roof racks. So as you can see here, the side plate of the Sherpa roof rack, it's thicker than most of the competitors. It's a quarter inch thick aluminum plate made of 6061 um, aluminum. So it's thicker, it won't be bending. Uh, most of the competitors make these side plates of uh, little bit less than quarter of an inch so that's the first difference then the quality of the aluminum uh, most of, uh, of the competitors or the rack companies make them out of 5052 they pride themselves in making it out of 60 61 aluminum so that's one of the main differences and why this roof rack can take a bit more abuse it can you know handle better the elements as well as how the time goes by with you know greater weight as you can see this is a CBT hard shell it's a huge and heavy <laughs> aluminum hard shell roof top tent and this rack is handling it quite well now another great difference that I want to show you guys is the rubber seals so as you can see down here uh, the roof racks all have rubber seals uh, where the rack you know will be mounting on top so why the rubber seal so first of all you know when you're this is a uh front or fifth gen when you're mounting you know most of the other roof racks you mount them onto the, the you either drill onto the roof or you mount them on the already you know existing mounting points of the roof however the rack itself it can be a bit heavy and when you add a heavier roof top tent lights gear or whatever it's gonna get heavier so the existing mounting points if after three years you decide to take the rack off you're gonna see that the the whole abuse the whole you know weight that the uh, rack took will make the mounting points stretch or even you know go down and and bend downwards or you know stretch and make the hole bigger and all in all it's not the, the type of abuse that you want to put on, on the roof itself you don't want you know the mounting points to be stretching it's a bit unsafe uh you know water could go in dust etc etc with the rubber seal the rubber acts as a cushion between those already existing mounting points or the holes that you would be drilling and the rack so what's taking all the weight and absorbing the weight as well as the potential abuse and you know vibration when you're on the trail is the rubber seal so instead of you know making the holes bigger or you know damaging the roof potentially denting it this and that you know the rubber seal you know can absorb all of that shock and you will be you know keeping your roof protected it doesn't mean that you cannot mount any other roof rack which you can